Hello friends, now we are at the end of the July of 2024. It's about two years that uh, we received the control net for stable diffusion. And now I decided to record a complete video to explain all aspects of the control net. So in these videos, I will try to explore all different control net types and also I want to show you that uh, what is the best solution for implementing and using the control net with highest quality. So I think this will be about two or three different kind of videos. So I hope that you will enjoy. Okay, let's go. All right, I think this is a great example for understanding what is control net and how it's working. This is my prompt about a building similar to a cat. And this is the image that is generated. Okay. You can see that um, we don't have enough control for defining the shape of the building or composition of the image. Here I have drawn a very professional sketch. So it's similar to a cat. Here is sun and here is tree. So with control net, I can inject some pixel information into my stable diffusion as a conditioning. So I draw this sketch and now I am using a control net that is trained for analyzing the scribble line. And after that, it can make a composition very, very similar to my drawing because they have trained this control net exactly for analyzing and understanding the scribble lines. And uh, also let me tell you that this control net is working only with 1.5 STXL version. And I think for a scribble, this is the best control net that we have. Okay, so, uh, this is the result and this is another result with a different technique of implementation. At the end of the video, I will explain all of them. This is another sample, okay? Uh, in this image, you can see some human body bone structure, but with different colors, okay? So, for example, this color code is representing the right arm okay and this is the left arm so uh if if you take pay attention now the character is uh, not looking to us and it's back of the character uh, this is another figure and and in this figure it's looking to us because uh, it's representing each body part left side and also right side and also there is a control net for analyzing this kind of information. They have trained this control net for understanding exactly this kind of drawing with exactly these color codes. And this is the result. For example, here you can see that uh, the first man is not looking to us. We, are with, we can see the backside. It's rotating to the right, it's front view, and this is the left view. So there is a control net that is able to analyzing this kind of drawing. So they trained this control net for this purpose. We have another control net that is able to analyzing the normal image. So in normal image, each pixel is defining with, with color code. It, um, it can define the angle to the viewpoint. So for example, if you can see this color, so for example, the angle is about 40 degree from the camera. Uh, so there is another control net that is trained, for example, this one, for analyzing the normal map information. And it's very, very useful. And finally, it's able to generate some image for us from this kind of input. We have another great, great information with the name of semantic segmentation. 
in this kind of information each color code representing some object for example this is this yellow is representing the sidewalk this is representing the uh, street this is bus this is mountain this is a sky this is a uh, street light okay and each color exactly is defining some specific thing and also we can see some shape from this information actually semantic segmentation is using for autonomous driving system and they developed this system for autonomous driving but now we can use that in stable diffusion and this is the result okay so the stable diffusion can understand how to analyze semantic segmentation information and regenerate some image like this so there is a control net model that is trained to understand what is semantic segmentation information so for using each different kind of media you should load another different uh, control net uh, and it's very very important or for example there is another control net for analyzing the depths and it's something like this or there is another great really great control net with the name of tile it can understand the content of the image okay it will take a look to the object for example it can understand this is a bed or this is some kind of light or this is some kind of window what is the color of this okay and this control net is very smart the name of this control net is tile okay you can see it here and for example when i am sending a very very blur image into the tile control net it can understand okay for example this is a bed this is a pillow this is wall this is sailing and after that it can generate some higher quality image with some bigger dimension but very very similar to our first input so sometimes you can use this control net for uh, deblurring your old image or uh, upscaling your image so this control net is working perfect tile control net don't forget it uh, or for example we have another control net that is able to keep the qr code information actually they trained this control net work based on bright and darkness of the image and for example if you scan this image uh, you can go to my youtube channel so this is a control net for um, injecting some QR code information into image. So all of these control nets, okay, all of these, uh, these control nets are going into the conditioning. So they will inject into the unit as a conditioning. Also, your prompt is some kind of conditioning. So uh, also we have more different kind of control net, but... Um, with this sample i hope that you have understand that how the control nets are working if you are interested to find more details about the control net really i'm suggesting to check this github repository uh, it's developed by uh, Ilya seville and i will place the link in description so you can find many many great information and samples for different kind of trained control net for understanding different kind of media inputs so if you are interested please go and check this repository and also in this uh, repository you can find some great information about training the control net uh, please check that maybe it can help you to have better understanding but for example for training a control net to understand that what is circular what is circular they will prepare many many different kind of image from a circle with different conditions okay and every time they are tagging the system that this is circular this is circular or this is circular and after that the computer or the model can understand that uh, what is the shape of a circle so actually training control net is very complicated because at first you should make a great data set after that you should uh, put a correct tag for them 
And after that, you should start the training process. And during the training process, um, you should use a very, very high computer uh, computing power. And uh, for example, uh, this is a sample. If you train a control net only with 10 a step or only with 100 a step, it can't understand correctly that um, what is the dimension of this image. But after 12,000 step of training, it can have much, much better understanding from the image. But you should pay much more money for training your control net. So the number of the steps that um, developers are using for train their control nets is very, very effective for defining the quality of the control net. It's very, very important. Another parameter that can affect for um, quality of the control net is resolution of the images. For example, in SD 1.5, uh, they are training the control net with images in the size of five, uh, 512 in 512. But for STXL, they are training control net with 1024 in 1024 pixel. So totally it's four more time bigger than SD 1.5. But uh, because it's very, very bigger image, they can't use high amount of steps. And this is the reason that still some control net in SD 1.5 can work and can produce much more high quality image than SDXL control net. But uh, for example, after one year that we have SDXL, now we can see some control nets in SDXL that are able to generate high quality image. Uh, here I have listed some parameters about the quality of the control net. So um, the quality of the control net at first is looking to the data set having a clean data set and training resolution, training a step. And finally, the speed of the training uh, versus the quality. So um, you should try and you should test some control, different, some co uh, different control net models to understand that which one can work better for you. But for example, about the uh, scribble, about the uh, analyzing the scribble lines, I am sure that the Scribble control net in SD 1.5 is the best. All right, now let me show you some solution for finding control net models and downloading them. The first one that is very easy is using the manager. You can click on the manager, go to model manager. From the type, select the filter for control net, okay? And now you can find many, many different control nets. If you check here, you can see in the base, you can see the stable diffusion version that this control net can work with that. And here, if I search, for example, for SD 1.5, after that, it will filter only the control net that are able to work with SD 1.5. You can find some more information about the control net. And also, I think if you click on the link, after that, you will forward to the GitHub repository, uh, Hugging Face, excuse me. And maybe you can find some more information about the control net model. Or if you here search SDXL, you can find the control nets that are uh, working with SDXL. Or if you search SD3, you can find some control net models that are working with SD3. So uh, here, if you take a look, we have many different version for control net. Control nets that are trained for SD1.5, SDXL, SD3, SVD, sparse control net that are using for uh, animate diff, Kawai colors, it's a very, very new diffusion model based on SDXL, but it has some specific control net and also the last one. So uh, it's very important to check the control net model version. 
Also, there is a web page. I will place the link. A link in it's from Civit AI, and they are updating all information about the control nets that are releasing for uh, SDXL in this page. For example, the last control net that is released is marked with new and it's from Zincir. And if you click here on the Pro Max, okay, you will forward to another page. And after that here, you can find some more information. If you click and open the page, you will forward to the Hugging Phase repository. And here you can see there is a very new control net. Let me show you. It's released about 17 days ago okay and they have merged 12 different medias for processing into one control net so they designed a very very new control net that is one model but it's able to process all different kind of media input and this is a great sample for that for example it it can process as a tile it can do in painting, it can process the open pose figure, it can process depths, it can process canny line, line art, MLS destroyed line, the scribble, uh, soft edge, TED, segmentation color, normal, and it's very, very useful and interesting. And now for SDXL, just I'm trying to use this control net because this is new control net and also they train this control net with very, very clear and great data. Another great and high quality control net that is working really, really good is for colors. Colors is a diffusion model based on SDXL structure and architecture, but it's a little different and it can generate amazing high quality images. So uh, maybe sometimes it can be mid journey or dull E without any second pass or something like that. So um, this is a new diffusion model, but with same structure as STXL. And they released some control net exactly for working with this uh, diffusion model. We have only canny and depths okay but if you look here you can see that the average quality of the colors is much more better than other control nets that we have for sdxl uh, for example for alignment for quality and many other parameters so uh, for example if you check this image you can see that uh, the image that is generated with colors control net is very, very better. So uh, we have only two control nets now from colors that they released about six days ago. Yes, they released it about six days ago. And it's very, very perfect. So. If you want, you should download it. And after that, you should try to use it. I will um, learn you how to implement and use them inside Comfy UI. All right, but uh, just imagine that you need some kind of semantic segmentation image or you need some normal image, okay? How you can make them? There are some preprocessor that can get your image, okay? analyzing and after that generating some kind of outer media from your image for example here i am using the ade 20k segmentor that the image could be used with semantic segmentation also there are many many other different kind of preprocessors if you install this extension comfy ui control net aux after that, you can get access to many, many different kind of preprocessor. For example, this preprocessor can analyze human body and it can generate the open pose image. 
for you or there are many other uh, preprocessors you can check them and yes just they can analyze your image and create a map after that you should process the map with control net so i will share this link you can install this extension on your comfy ui and for example this one is creating depth map from image or these are semantic segmented segmentor and many other preprocessor so you can check this after installing unconfi ui if you go to control net preprocessor you can see a complete list for uh, these preprocessors all right now let me show you how to implement the control net okay at first i'm i like to make some distance between these nodes and for having a clean workflow, I am using the RG3 context big, okay? And at first, I like to transfer these parameters to the context, okay? So now the sampler is getting all the information from the context. And here I can connect any context to another one for transferring my information. Okay, connecting the model to model, VAE to VAE. And for latent, I am using uh, empty latent image preset from KJ node. Okay, so after that, it's, it's very easy to select some dimension for our processing. Okay, so now it's something like this. And I did that only for having a clean workflow. Okay. now i should add a control net so you can double click and search for these nodes let's start with apply control net advance so you should connect your conditioning because it will affect on positive and negative conditioning after that you should load your control net by clicking and releasing you can load your control net and also you should download control net and place them in the folder this is my models folder and inside that i have some other folder for example i moved all of our uh, my uh, 1.5 control net models into this folder so now i can select a model let me select the scribble because really i am i'm very interested in this control net Again, let me add another context, connect the positive and negative to this one, and also context to context and here to here. So with this solution, I can add uh, anything in the middle of my workflow. So uh, now I should load the image. Okay, this is my image. I should connect the image to my control net and after that i should write my prompt select the checkpoint because now i am using the st1.5 control net version i should select st1.5 checkpoint also and after that i can execute the prompt so it's trying to load the checkpoint and load the control net and after that you can see that it's trying to generate the design um, the render is ready and sometimes if you select some smaller resolution it can affect on the image for example now if you look it has more attention to um, to my drawing okay so it's trying to keep the shape so if you're working with control net also please pay attention to this 
uh, because sometimes when you're processing your image with some high resolution maybe the result could be a little different for example now i have scaled the dimension and you can see that some um, again i should try to adjust the strange or some other parameter so um, don't forget to test the control net with some different resolutions here in the control net let me bring the control net here there are some options the first one is about the strange of the control net and now the strange is set to one so it will affect uh, very strong if you change the strange and again do the processing you can see that it will not pay attention to your drawing uh, so much so sometimes maybe it will be necessary to adjust the strange amount uh, also it's dependent to the control net type because now I am using the scribble for example if I select the canny or soft edge for example with the s range of one you can see that really it's trying to keep the line drawing with this control net and in this case i should uh, reduce the strange amount so playing with this parameter and defining them is dependent to your resolution and also to your control net model and sometimes to the to your drawing sometimes you have some accurate drawing sometimes it's very very approximately so you should pay attention to that um, another parameter is about a start percent okay now you can see that it's a starting processing from first step up to the end step but if i add 0 0.2 until 21st 20 percent of the starting it will not use any control net and after that it's trying to inject the control net inside that so here you can see sometimes this trick can help you but um, sometimes it's better to keep the start percent as zero and play with the end percent because for example if i select the 0 0.6 after 60 percent it will try to don't use the control net and it have uh, some freedom to refine and fix the image so you should play with them and have some experiment with them so this is very very traditional way for implementing the control net okay now i want to load two control net so for example one of the the first control net is this image with uh, processing with a scribble and this is my prompt it's a car in a street and in a street and some people are standing in front of that so at first let me execute the prompt uh, okay you can see that it is able to generate some car but the end percent is very low and Hmm. maybe I should increase the strange to pay attention to the front or back side of the car hmm. okay okay maybe now I can keep this but in my prompt you can see that I want to add uh, some people that are standing in front of the car so uh, now I should load another control net open pose for uh, defining the position of the people so at first let me select these three nodes control c and control v okay so for the control net i should select the open pose okay for the strange let me change that to one 
and percent to one and for the image let me place this image okay because it can define the body position and also i should connect the positive and negative here oh excuse me and positive and negative like this okay so it's trying to use the open pose and also a scraper now let me see what is the result okay you can see that the image is very darker now and there are some kind of blurriness so if you have this problem first you should pay attention to the strength of your control net models because if your if because if the strength of the control net is high exactly this problem will be happen okay so still they are in high amount and maybe i have i should change them okay now maybe it's better to test it with some higher resolution okay so pay attention to this parameter resolution a string uh your sometimes your cfg sometimes your sampler all of these parameters could be affect on the image okay now you can see that the we have four people exactly in correct position as we have defined it in open pose and also the car is in the same position let me increase the strength of the car maybe it will be more more similar to my drawing okay okay it's a little better for example in my drawing i have the tree and the tree is here i have some lines horizontal lines and still we can see them and also the bodies are in same position maybe i can play with a strange or end percent and after that it will have some freedom for working with this control net and refining the car shape i'm not sure but i should spend some time and play with this parameter to find the best setting and also sometimes it's a great idea to change the seed number uh, for testing the parameters i'm trying to work with fixed seed number so it will be better for me and it can help me to understand that which parameter can have some effect. Now let me play with CFG. Okay. And finally, let me change my sampler. okay and sometimes uh, using some notes like pertube attention guidance for st 1.5 and sdxl is very useful but on st3 it's not working well so maybe it can help me to correct the body position and the composition of the image Okay, the image is better, but maybe I should test it with some different seed number. Okay, by the way, in this video, I tried to show you how implement two control net, how to play with a string, how to adjust the start and end percent, and how the latent size cfg and selecting different sampler can affect on the result okay now i think it's better so 
Uh, in the next part, I will show you another solution for loading the control net. Okay, go to manager and search for custom nodes with the name of advanced control net. Okay, exactly this one. This is the extension for Comfy UI for loading the control net. And by using this node, you will have more power to control your control net and work with your control net. And also it will enable you to load different kind of control nets. For example, here you, you see that we have normal control net, T2I adapter, control LoRa and control L light models. So for uh, the solution that I told you was working, the default solution was working with control net and T2I adapters. But uh, for implementing control LoRa and control L light, you should install some other extensions. But if you install the Comfy UI Advanced Control Net, you can load any kind of control net for any kind of version. For example, it's not dependent that you want to load the control net for SD3, SDXL, this is a, for or SD video or, or any kind of. So I prefer to work with control net. And also in Comfy UI with default control net node, there is not any option to defining that your prompt is more important than your input. In Automatic 11.11, we have that. But in Comfy UI, in the default mode, there is not any option. But if you use Comfy UI Advanced Control Net, you can do that. So please install the Comfy UI Advanced Control Net and let's see how to work with that. All right, already I have installed the Comfy UI Advanced Control Net and I want to use that. So let me make a copy from these nodes and paste them here. Okay, and open the big context. And please let me remove the control net advanced models, but I want to keep these images. So after that, if I go here, I can see the advanced control net menu. And I can use this node, apply advanced control net. It's very, very similar. Connect positive, negative, excuse me, positive, negative. Make another copy, positive, negative, positive, and negative. If you want to use control L light or control LoRa, also you should connect the model to model, okay, like this. So, after that, you can use also control L light and control LoRa because they need uh, some information from the checkpoint for processing the control net. And also, if you want to work with uh, SD3 control net, you should connect the VAE to the VAE option of this node. So you can see that this node really is much more advanced than normal control net. So after that, we should load the control net. You can click here and click on control net loader. From here, let me select again open pose. Okay, and for this one, a scribble, exactly same as above. Okay, connect the image to image and connect the image to image. So here, it was set 081. Let me paste exactly the same amount. Okay. And let me start the processing. So technically the image should be completely similar to the above image because I didn't change any parameter until now and everything should be similar to the default control net okay the result is ready and we can compare the result okay as you can see everything is mostly or completely similar so now 
let me use a feature that I told you. I want to tell ControlNet that my prompt is more important. There is an option here with the name of weights override. Click here and release the mouse and then select the scale soft control net weight. Okay. It will make some change inside the unit. And after that, your prompt will be more important in processing. So now we should able to see some change after adding this node. And it should pay more attention to my prompt. Okay, and because now the control net has some freedom, it can generate maybe a better composition. So sometimes it's very, very interesting to do that. And let me provide more information about this node because it's very important to know how it is working. If you disconnect this node and use another node with the soft control net weight, okay, you can see a very, very bigger node. These two nodes are doing same thing. And if you check the weight number 11, you can see that the default value is set to 0.825. And here is same. Uh, this is automatic scale width and this is manual. Okay. Uh, and what are these numbers? In the unit, we have some different layers. And these numbers are defining the control net weight for each different layer. By default, the weight of the control net in the unit is equal from level zero up to, for example, uh, layer 12. Okay. In the default workflow um, with this node inside the unit in different layers, everything is equal. But by using this node, you can define that the in uh, first layers of the unit, the weight of the control net is low. But in the end layers of the unit, the weight of the control net is high. So with this trick, you can inject your prompt more powerful inside the processing. Let me show you something. Okay, I made this 3D model for explain the unit and how I want to show how the unit is working. Okay, yeah, you can search for this diagram and you can find it. And here is the unit. And if you take a look, you can see that the shape is exactly like a U. So the image goes into the unit. For example, this is for SD 1.5. So the images are processing with 572 in 572. It will go inside. After that, it will add 64 different filter to the image. Uh, they are different filter for processing the information. It will uh, resize the image in each step. Again, we have 64 outer image. And then it will go to another step. The size of the image will be 284, but the numbers of the image will be 128 numbers of image. So it will go, uh, it's scaling down the image, but it will add the field number of filters. It's going inside the unit up to this level. So in this level, the size of the image is 30 pixel only. And after that, it's trying to scale up the image. And uh, during all this process, we have some kind of mathematical and computer algorithms that are injecting inside the unit, like our prompts, control net, or any other thing. Okay, let me show you. Uh, adjust my time. Okay. So, for example, uh, for example, this is for training, a step forward diffusion. And at first for training, we are sending the image inside the unit. And you can see the different kind of filters that it will apply to the image. In each step, the size of the image will go down. But we have many, many images in the list. Okay. 
and after that it will scale up so uh, also here you can see a better sample okay for example if you follow the red rectangle okay red square um, you can see and also please pay attention to the step number this is the start this is exactly a start of our processing i am moving the slider you can see that during the unit okay this is moving and going into different levels and it's trying to generate the image okay but the image is not clear so each time that we are processing the unit from a start to the end is one step so at the end of the step we have some kind of noisy image it will inject some more noise into the image and again it will send it to the unit but now we are in the next step okay so the processing will be continue and every time the step will be go higher and higher it will go higher and higher until the end of the processing so finally at the end of the processing we can see some clear image so now just imagine that with uh, advanced control net you can adjust the weight of the control net on this level okay so at the first it will try to uh, inject more power of the prompt inside the unit but after that it's try to change the weight of the control net so it's very very important because uh, editing the weight of the control net inside the unit is only able by using this extension so finally we can use that uh, one another tip for example if you are working with IP adapter uh, now if we have some option for transferring the S style or transferring the composition so uh, also they are using the same technique they are trying to control the weight of the ip adapter inside the unit for example if they want to transfer the composition they are trying to inject more power of ip adapter when the image is very very small but uh, if they want to transfer the style they are trying to inject the style uh, or ip adapter in step number 12 or number 11 so i thought that maybe it will be interesting for you so now it's time to go and work with control net plus plus that is working with sdxl okay so at first go to files and version and download this file pro max okay because this is very very newer and it's more complete than the previous control net so download the file and place it inside your control net folder but also try to rename that for example add the onion stxl to the name of the control net okay let me do a test make a copy from this workflow paste it here and i want to load the union control net at first I should change my checkpoint and after that I here I have to load the search Union SDXL Pro Max Safe Tension okay uh, something could be different okay at first I'm going with default advanced uh, with default control net node okay and after that I will show you how to work with apply advanced control net extension after loading the control net okay i have to add another node if you release here you can see a node with the name of set union control net type this node is only useful for working with apply control net advanced default node this node is not compatible with this extension okay so after loading the control net you should have this node and select the control net type you can select auto or maybe you can select the 
open post here. I prefer to select uh, the usage and then connect the node to the advanced control net. Make a copy of this node, connect your Promax control net here, and this time select the scribble and connect it to this node. And let me start processing. So it will try to load the checkpoint. Also, we have Pertube Attention Guidance. And after loading the checkpoint, it will load the control net model. And it will start the processing. So it's here. One time we are loading the control net model. And after that, the processing will be a start. Okay, as I told you, uh, I told you that with different control net models, you should try to adjust your CFG, your control net weight and other parameters. Because uh, for example, with ST1.5, exactly we have this four character and the car in the same position as our sketch, but in STXL, for example, here only I have two characters from the open pose. So maybe I should add some more strings to my open pose. Okay, and again, start the processing. Mm. It tried to add that, but Actually, it's changed. So let me go for now with uh, this situation. And let me show you how to load Promax control net with apply advanced control net node from this extension. Okay, uh, at first, let me delete this control net node. Okay. Right click, go to advanced control net, and here you can see control net plus plus. From here, you can see some different nodes, single, multi, and input. I prefer to work with single, okay? It's designed to process the single control net, but I am using this in multi control net because at this moment, I think it's better. So let me go with this node, single control net. So it's trying to load the control net here. I should select the Pro Max version. Um, but also I prefer to and select the type. For example, here I need the open pose. But for loading the control net, I prefer to convert the widget name to input and after that make a primitive add a primitive node for loading the control net okay so now i can make a copy from this node and also connect this node here and this time i can use the scribble so now i can connect the scribble to here and open pose to this control net and let me start the processing with this way and don't forget that we have connected the scale soft weight to the scribble control net oops we have a problem let me check that okay i checked the problem now it's working and the problem was related to the per tube attention guidance so when I am now at this moment, this extension for loading plus plus control net model, or exactly this node, is not compatible with pair tube attention guidance. So if you want to work with this workflow, you should not use pair tube attention guidance in your workflow. And now you can see that it is working fine. 
now the strange is one and percent is one only i have added the scale soft weight and easily you can see that i have the car and also i have the people in same position as my open pose just if i increase the strange of the open pose maybe this woman should look to the front and pay at more attention to the open post control net okay mm -hmm. yes yes it worked well so this is the solution for loading the union stxl pro max control net with advanced control net extension and also normal control net i prefer this way because actually i can use the scale soft weight and exactly in this situation it can help me to have a great composition so i hope that you enjoyed this video and i should record many many other video exactly related to the control net because we have many different control net and i want to show you how you can work with them so hope to see you in next videos bye